So in the last episode, we have installed the Laravel disk on our fresh installation of Laravel and we have run that command, simple one, which is just going to assert that the Laravel word is on our home page. So if I run this command and to run a Laravel disk command, we need to say php artisan disk, simple one. It will run all your disk command. So it says it can't find because we have not started the server. So why not start server? So php artisan serve and again this pa is just the alias and if you want to know how you can create it, just check out the description. You will find the link. So we have this and if I run this, yes, it's now working. That's good. But you know, I have set up the php artisan make auth command, which is now giving me these things. This means if I go to Chrome, on localhost 8000 you can see we have this login and register information so yeah you can register and if you want to test it how you can test so because you need to type something all these things are you need to do manually okay so how we can test these things so why not create a new test for this so here uh, yeah it's just creating that so let me just do a php artisan serve new command and php artisan and desk make and if you don't know what is the command you just run php artisan at the top you will find the desk related command which is this command so make will make a new desk class or desk test class so php artisan desk make and the test we are going to uh, create is register test so simple register so hit enter and yes it is created and where it is created it's created inside tests folder and browser and again i need to refresh my vs code okay this time you can see register is here and because i have restarted chrome i need to run the server once more that's good so let's call it a uh, user can register okay simple one and yes we need to give the annotation of test good so we open the browser and then we go to slash register route then okay so let's make this very easy so when we go to register route slash register we should see this register word so assert c and this time register okay so let's run this specific command and to run a specific command because we have installed the extension better php command r or control r and yes it passes but what if i make it with a small r hmm it fails it says you can't find register with a small r that's good but after this what we need to do we need to fill these things so how we can fill it you know on this disk there are great great helpers so you can simply use type so type but where we need to type on name so if you go here you can see we have this text box called name and its name is name you can see this one name is name okay so first is the name where you want to type but second is what you want to type so let's type sarthak then we need to type on where again email email address its name is email so here is the email name is email okay so let's type and sarthak at bitfumes.com similarly we need to type on password and let's make the password as secret word secret then the type again and this time password and for that so let's check out what that name ah, password confirmation so password confirmation is again secret okay so let's do final thing that after that we need to press which uh, button we need to press register button and make sure 
and it's very important make sure you will give the name as the name register exact register with a capital R then after that what we are going to assert we are going to assert that assert path is home because as the person logs in it will redirect it to home page okay that's good let's run this and it taking time but here is some problem register does not equal to home what's the problem so whenever you get the problem or you get a testing fail on dusk dusk is super cool that it will take the screenshot of the browser it has opened so this is the screenshot so let me just delete both of these things once more i run this test and this time i will see the new file which is saying that home state local host and select count all these things are not found so i think we are getting this point that the application we have or the project we have is not connected to database but wait we are testing so why we need to connect it to database so what's the reason of connecting this to database i don't want to touch my database so here is the cool part you need to create a separate system for dusk to run the commands and to run the migration all these things so first step you need to memorize it because it's very complicated so first step is you need to create a dot env dot dusk dot local file name and it can be local it can be whatever you want but it's dot env dot dusk dot local then here uh, i don't need anything i just want to give the uh, database name and here is the new thing we need to create a database which is like let's say dusk testing so where we create this database okay so open your config folder open your database folder and here you will see bunch of the database we have by default and this one we are using for php unit but let's create another one and let's call it dusk testing and this is just going to use a simple file which we are going to create in our database folder and you can create it anywhere but it's fine to create inside this database folder so let's create database dot sqlite or you can name it anything test database test db whatever it is okay so this is good yes we have created that yes we are we have created another dot env file so how we can run this dot env file because whenever i run php artisan it takes normal dot env only for that you need to specify we are going to use dot env but it's having some extension called dusk dot local okay so this time it's running same url local uh, 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 but with this one this is good okay and we need to make sure that app url here and on original env file app url has to be same whatever you are giving here okay so we have configured the database which is very easy enough we have created the database.sqlite file and here let's try to run this and this time it's giving same error but if i now go to test and check out the screenshot okay this time it's saying different error last time it was showing that the home state can't find type of things but this time it's saying that okay user table does not exist on your database this means now we need to use our use database migration trait so database migration trait and what it will do it will just run the migration and then roll back everything as the test completes so once more click here control r hmm another problem so let's face this and it says home state dot localhost 
why it's so saying these things because we have correctly configured that we have told to Dusk that you are going to use Dusk testing. So what's the reason behind this? Actually, there is maybe some problem I have searched on the internet quite a long time and there are many many posts related to this problem. So the problem is that Laravel Dusk is not taking this command. But for now, what you need to do, you need to solve this problem by going to create application. Whenever any test executed, this file is executed and it just boots up your Laravel to start everything. Then here we need to say app and config inside app config we need to set our database dot default and this value is dust testing so we need to give this line and this is super important and again I am telling you that app config set database dot default is what whatever the database we have created so if now we go run this test hmm again it's saying the same thing so let's do one thing let's restart the server and once more try and yes you can see it's now passes with two assertion what if i change it so i delete e from the home so now it's saying that okay you are expecting home but you are getting hom home <laughs> and in the browser you get the screenshot which is saying that okay you are on this one the last screenshot is here so this is good and you need to make sure whatever the steps you have to do so let me remind you steps to configure laravel dusk with the database you need to create another .env.dusk.local file on that file you need to define the db connection and then you need to create this db connection by going to your config and database then you create that then you specify the database you are going to use is database.sqlite file then we need to create that file that file we will create inside database okay then we need to set up the default database because of some reason laravel disk is not taking the connection from here and you know if you delete this disk.local file it will not work so you need to have this you need to have this also and you need to have this also so that's how this laravel disk will work okay and then after that finally you need to give this database migration trait to run all the migration and rollback things and after that it will successfully register so ah, we have some problem okay yeah that's a problem okay refresh and yeah it's working so if you have any any doubt please feel free to message me and if you find another way of doing this please comment below and i will correct it or create a new video for others and if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel because here level knowledge never ends and don't forget to like with films on facebook twitter instagram share this video with your friends and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye